Hello and welcome to Catherine's Garden. I'm out here in the rain. Yes, it's a little drizzly, but um, it's beautiful. My neighbors are busy having fun in their garden. I have been outside earlier in the day just doing some gardening cleanup and also some dreaming. So I want you to come with me um, and come and explore with me some of the wonderful things that have been happening in the garden in terms of propagation of hydrangea cuttings and roses and also seed planting. And then of course, I want you to see this book that I got. Um, it's on greenhouses and the greenhouses are so, so beautiful. And I think I'm gonna get my husband to build me a greenhouse. What do you think? <laughs> I think he's going to do it. We're gonna get it together. This is the first rose that blooms in my garden in June. And I think it's so beautiful. I love the color and I love the sprays of roses that just fill the bush. I decided that I wanted to take some cuttings and to propagate this wonderful rose bush. I also decided to propagate this beautiful white rose, Rosa Ragosa, that I had purchased from home. So come with me as we walk through the garden. Now that rose, these are looking good. I, what I did was I propagated these roses here. And I also propagated this one here. Let's see how it looks. It's under there. It looks green still. I hate to actually take it out. Um, but this one is looking good also too. And then these are just um, doing well. Look, you can see that it's starting to get leaves there. Isn't that nice? So the propagation is working. And this weather is actually good for this. My little hiding place too is working. And about Leah doing a good job there. The first batch of hydrangea cuttings that I propagated came out so well that I said let me do some more. So I started to just go crazy with the whole process and I did a number of cuttings. I love the color of the hydrangea and then some of the other hydrangeas that I have in the yard as well. Those hydrangea cuttings that I had prop put in the pots. And if you want to see that video, you can check it out. I put it over here. And they are doing very well. Look how healthy they look. Very nice. I think I'm going to have quite a few new plants. Yeah, they feel good. And I put it over here, covered them lightly, so they can still get some airflow, but protect them from too much sun by putting them, uh, covering them here and tucking them in. And um, the moisture, because of all the rain, it's doing really well. They're protected from too much sun. And it looks like I'm going to have me a lot of Hydrangea shrubs. I'm so excited to add around the garden. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Take another look. Nice. And um, you see that tree right there? That's my lemon tree. It's been sitting out on my deck. I want to introduce you to my lemon tree variegated lemon tree. I think it's a Meyer lemon and I got it from QVC about four years ago. I haven't spoken much about this lemon tree. I've had it for a number of years and it was in my school when I was at, when I was a principal. When I was a principal, I purchased this lemon tree and I had it in my office and was growing and it developed some sort of uh, 
gnats, or whatever, gnats. And um, I transplanted it, repotted it. I've been trying to actually keep it alive, keep it healthy. This year it really looks good. Look at the leaves. It's a variegated lemon tree. I think it's a Meyer lemon tree and I got it off of QVC. Um, I think this was a cottage farms tree, but I have not had any limes yet. I prayed over it. I've been trying to uh, keep it alive. Um, I don't have a greenhouse, so I keep it in this um, basement area. Um, and I bought a little plastic greenhouse for it, um, just for it, from um, Ocean Job Lot. And I keep it there where it gets just a little bit of sunlight. And um, this year, though, it's really grown tall, you know, and it's gaining some really great foliage at the top here. Eventually, I hope that it will flower and it will produce lemons. I know it will. It must because I love it. <laughs> now this pot, this pot was from my Aunt Tanti. It was in her house and I left it outside though in the winters and now it's cracking. But this pot um, seems to be supporting this lemon tree in a very nice way because the lemon tree for the last couple of years since I put it in the pot and on the deck here it seems to be thriving but I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with it next because it's getting really tall and it's gonna outgrow that little plastic greenhouse from Ocean Job Lot hmm. Beautiful. I bless you, lemon tree. I bless you, bear lemons in Jesus' name. Of course, on this side here, that's the seeds that I planted. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that as well. I decided to try my hand at planting seeds and um, planting seeds in pots. I had these pots over the years and I decided to use them this time. It has just been raining every, almost every single day. And, um, but my lettuce are growing. I can actually brush my hand over it. Isn't that wonderful? Soon I'm going to sample it and taste it. I could actually probably pluck it and taste it now. It tastes like lettuce. <laughs> That's the carrots. I know, I know, I know. There are too many. I'm going to have to um, pull some out and give the others space and room. But look at it. This is starting to develop the next set of leaves. Do you see that? Let me see if I can cup it. You see that? These carrots? I don't know. Let me see if I can zoom in on something. Oh, there you go. See? Oops. Let me see if you can focus. But that's nice. Check out these beets. I don't see anything, the next set of leaves yet. Oh, but I do on the spinach. Look at that. They're getting the second set of leaves on the spinach. Wow. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Hmm. Even this one. It's just one. But it's getting it. That is encouraging because I am 
not so excited about seats, but I think that I need to really uh, think about growing things from seed um, next year and being confident about it. I don't think it's that I don't know how to do it. It's just my confidence level of planting the seeds and watching them grow. And even though they're so tiny, they will bring forth. And I have to understand the abundance of seeds, how seeds um, are tiny, but you have to leave room for them to, to grow and expand. And I think that that's where, um, and what I'm trying to learn from this experiment, from this observation here. And then I also have my, um, my tuberous begonia here that I um, propagated and it looks like it wants to get flowers there. Isn't that amazing? The flower was there before when I put it on but it's gaining some more. Oh, it looks like that. So that's easy to grow. Um, maybe in the spring what I can do is buy a plant and propagate it on, put it in a pot, and then you'll have the whole summer to actually grow. And then I need to find some place in the house to put it so that it can, um, it can grow through the winter. My house is um, not very bright in the summer, in the winter time. I have to use lights. That's why I like Christmas and I put Christmas lights around. Um, in the house just to add more light to the house um, but my dream is to build or have a greenhouse I think that is my good my dream to have a beautiful greenhouse attached to the house I think that's what I want well we shall see <laughs> We have a little discussion about greenhouses and we dream together. Dream with me. Dream with me. <laughs> yes. Amen. I got this book from Hartley Botanic Handmade Pride since 1938 and they make greenhouses. They meet. Look at that. Now, isn't that beautiful? That can make a girl dream. I think that is just so beautiful. I can see one of these in my garden. Those are just the prices. <laughs> um, it's expensive, yes. But it, it shows its history. Look at that. I can see myself doing that. And this is in someone's, um, someone's greenhouse. Isn't that pretty? Well, one can dream. Let's see. Let's flip a little further. Look at that. There's a ghost storage. The grill and store. Isn't that cute? It's a more modern look. They have this a little one that you can put on the patio. Patio glass house. Uh, not enough for me. <laughs> Now see this, this is against the wall. That's the idea. That's kind of modern. See, here's, a, here's another one. Built up against the wall. Now I have this mighty oak, so I don't know. See, there's mighty oak. Behind. So I don't know if I'd be able to do that. I'll probably have to trim back mighty oak. 
But this is ideal. Isn't that beautiful? And I like this against the wall. Now these people aren't paying me, but I just love this. I'm not sponsored. I wish I was. <laughs> oh, they, they could come up with something that I could afford. Put in my garden. An urban setting. You know, they're in Worcester, which is amazing. Look at this. I like that idea. So you can, I like the idea. See, so here you are, you step out into the greenhouse and everything is protected. I love the walls because I have brick front in the front. My husband has built me a wall and it's like that. Um, this is from concrete and brick. Look at that. That's, that's the idea again. Now they sent this free catalog. Um, and I'm grateful because I can get to dream. That's nice. Mm. Yeah, so they're a little pricey. Let's look at the prices. I mean, some can be as, as much as the Victorian Grand Manor. Wow. But some are, are not too bad. Wait, this is 29000 It's a car. And over here, more affordable ones. 13 12 mm -hmm. The Hartley Cottage, page 60. Let's see what that looks like. Page 60. I know I'm moving, flipping a little slowly. That's 65. That's the tradition. Okay, page 60. Yeah, so that one, uh, the Hartley Cottage. That's a uh, thirteen thousand three hundred for that one. It's glass and steel. Let's see what the lean-to is like, because I think that's more like uh, my alley. The lean-to. Mm, lean-to. That's fourteen thousand two hundred. Mm -hmm. But it's just really nice, and it's a great idea. Did you see how they're able to put the store the plants in there, and then against the wall, so they receive the the heat from the wall. And of course, there are plenty of light. But I would want to have bricks down at the bottom. You know, I would want the stone down at the bottom and have the light. That's I think what I would want. Let's see. I'm more into. Oh, that's nice. That's a great idea, too. You can build a hedge um, around the bottom. But I can't do that because I don't... Mine would be against the um, concrete. I mean, the um, asphalt. So something like this, I think, against the wall is what I'm, I'm looking for. At least that idea. Oh, here it is. Yeah, like that. The Paxton. Let's see how much that costs. The past day. Page 49. That's 29,700. 29,000. Mm. But that, that is beautiful. I like this. That's the idea. That's what I want. <laughs> Dream on, my child. Dream on, and it will come to pass. I need to show my husband. Maybe he'll come up with an idea. <laughs>
and um, I know that it's going to just come forth because it is the desire of my heart to have a greenhouse and I need one for the seeds I need one for the plants I need one for my cuttings so I know that it's going to come to pass if you like this video then like share and subscribe comment down below do you have a greenhouse and uh, have you built it how did you come about it how's it working out for you and um, let's stream together well see you next time in Catherine's garden bye who is thundering i think i need to get out of this rain huh, this is really something bye remember to like share and subscribe tell someone about Catherine's garden thank you